How's it going everybody? Welcome back. We're finally doing another Snoop Dogg's cookbook recipe from Crook to Cook. Uh, we're doing the Yardy Yard Bird uh, today, which is a full chicken cut into wings, breast, <laughs> wings, breast, thighs and legs. Uh, use the whole thing obviously. Uh, so the ingredients for this are um, 60ml of olive oil, 2 tablespoons of molasses, or molasses uh, that's black treacle to anybody who, like me, didn't have a clue what it was. Um, two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lime juice. Two habanero peppers, which I had a look at on Google again, because I weren't sure. Um, and there's li these little spicy peppers now, I'm not that good with spice. So I'm substituting them for some just little sweet peppers, because obviously I don't want to just not put it in. Um, six scallions, spring onions. Um... That, that, we're just using the white and light green parts only, roughly chopped. A piece of um, fresh ginger, six garlic cloves, a tablespoon of dried thyme leaves, one teaspoon of ground allspice, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Now that's all for uh, the marinade, which is what we're gonna do first. So this is actually gonna be quite a quick uh, thing to make, uh, except for mostly we just need to let the marinade soak into the chicken for about, well, it says from anything from one hour to overnight. Anyway, let's just get on with it. I'm hoping this is going to be big enough. <laughs> it better be. So going into here, first is the quarter cup of olive oil. I'm going to put in the one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. The one teaspoon of ground allspice. Now one tablespoon of dried thyme. I'm going to put in the six... Uh, cloves of garlic. I'm using lazy, so obviously I'm eyeballing it, but you can, you know how big a clove is. So obviously this is plenty of garlic. Four. Five. And six. Now the six scallions, which actually isn't much because you're only using really a little bit of each one. Get all those in there. There we go. Now the two peppers, obviously um, the recipe is habanero. I'm using just some sweet manus because they're the same size so it doesn't change the consistency or anything like that. And I just, I'm not all about spice. Now two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lime juice. There we go, perfect. And I've saved what I think is going to be the most annoying part to last of the molasses or, like I said, black treacle. This is going to just be straight up hard to get in. I need another spoon, I think, to convince it. Use the garlic spoon. Here we go. Oh, it, smell. it doesn't smell really. It looks like tar. Uh, now, teaspoon, teaspoon, so a tablespoon, got there an end, number two. Yeah. So this is really, really, so this is like worse, a worse consistency than normal, um, normal treacle, definitely. That'll do though, that will do. I've got just a little piece of ginger. So now we can stick this lid on and give it a good blitz. I'm really happy actually that it's all fit. So here we go. So that is now mixed together. It's a nice thick marinade. So the next part now is we're going to obviously use this bowl. I've got all my chicken in here from the butcher. And we're just going to dump it in. Hopefully he's not done me dirt, he needs to cut it how I have, because I have got no clue. Oh, he has, he's been an absolute good lad. Look at that, you don't get better than fresh from the butcher. Marinade here. Oh, I'm not even allowed, it smells pretty damn good. So I'm just going to pull the blade out. And we're just going to, I'm going to pour it over as much as I can. That's perfect. That's not a lot, it doesn't look much in there, but look, it's, it's definitely plenty. And now, 
I hate doing this with chicken. Like, I can't explain. Chicken's the one meat I just hate touching raw. Uh, but I think that's because I'm always paranoid I'm going to make me sound bloody ill. Uh, but now we're just going to toss it about. Um, he says. To coat it all nicely. Using your hands, obviously. You make sure you've washed them and all that. But you should have done that, really, before you started cooking. So... Or don't. I mean, if it's you you're cooking it for and you want to make yourself feel, then, you know, you can do you. Oh, God, I hate this feeling. It's all right. Ah, grim. I don't know what it is about chicken. I just, I hate touching it raw. Love eating it cooked, though. And that is that. What now is we're going to wrap this up in cling film. And it's going in the fridge. Fucking, I hate cling film. It's so annoying. Um... Yeah, it's going in the fridge and it says anything from one hour up until overnight. Obviously, it's completely up to you. Um, you'll get better flavour the longer you leave it to marinade. Um, I would normally leave it overnight. I mean, I'm leaving it a pretty long time, to be fair. I'm making this, uh, what are we on now? It's about quarter to eight in the morning. I'm going to be finishing it off maybe 5, 6 p.m. So, it's definitely getting some decent time. So yeah, oh. if I had more time to um, on my hands, I'd have done it overnight, but obviously I work very, very awkward shifts. But yeah, so here it is. It's going in the fridge. I'll see you in a few hours. Right, there we go. It's now all served up and it looks good and it smells great. So we just need to give the chicken a try. It serves four as well, so there's plenty left over. Um, it's all cooked through really nicely as well. Um, but yeah, so I've put more, I've put quite a bit on each plate as well just because there's only two of us eating it. I'm going to give credit to Sophie. She was the one who got it in the oven and that for me because I'm on nights at the moment, so I was in bed. Um, it's ma it spent plenty of time marinating it, so I actually marinated it, started marinating it yesterday and wrapping it obviously for this, well, tea this evening, so it's had a good day in. Mm. Oh my god. It's really good, the chicken's really moist. I mean, it's a really good chicken that I got from Butchers, but that's beautiful. Mm. Yeah, it's so easy as well and simple to make. The only long part about it is putting it in the fridge, but you don't have to put it in for that long. I always recommend you do them, um, just because then it, it gives it plenty of time to soak. But yeah, that's really, really nice. 100% worth making, not difficult at all, really easy. Um, and you just serve it with white, ra white rice and uh, so some lime wedges. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be doing more Snoop Dogg cooking videos very soon. Uh, if you did enjoy it, obviously like and subscribe and do all that good stuff. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think. Um, and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye.